Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. My name is JC. If you haven't seen my face before, today's video, yet another weekly reading vlog. So hello, hi, good morning, happy Monday. It's about 8.15 or so, I think. I woke up about an hour ago. I wanted to wake up at 6.30, but guys, I accidentally started and finished a book last night and was up until 1.30 in the morning reading. I haven't done that in a while, so that was kind of fun, but also I woke up dead to the world at 7 15 so i've been slowly getting up getting ready i'm about to make some sort of breakfast some sort of drink and then i want to sit down and fill out my weekly planner for the week so let's go do that Okay, I made the maple brown sugar matcha again. Okay, I can definitely taste more of the combo. I like it. So I'm gonna drink on that. I also am gonna have this, at least for now, um, just to get something in my system. And then I may take something else with me or my office always has like a bunch of breakfast, lunch things. So we can tackle that, but thing I want to do now is continue listening to Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince while I fill out my weekly planner. So I'm just kind of at least going to eyeball this thing and see what I have going on this week. I know there's always certain things. So, okay. I'm just like slowly getting there. Slowly. <laughs> Okay, it's currently 9.20 and honestly I would have gotten out the door quicker, but I decided to upload my weekly reading vlog that will hopefully go up on Friday this morning. So I've just been waiting for it to officially upload so I can like take out my external hard drive and like get my laptop into my bag and head out to work. I have 15 minutes left. I need to get it uploaded as soon as I could so I could send it over to the brand to approve. I just like don't know how long they take to approve videos so I just wanted to give it to them as soon as I could in hopes that it can go up on Friday. But my reading wrap up just went live 20 minutes ago. So I was looking at that. I love those videos. I mean, I think everyone loves those videos. I feel like they always do relatively well on my channel and that always makes me happy because I try to make them a little more fun and less just like sit and talk about a book. So I always like it when that does well. So I'm going to kind of check on that. I wanted to post on Instagram today about like my wrap up. And me absolutely slaying my physical CBR in February. So I hope it goes well because I scheduled a post to go live at 10. But when I go, you can see it's blank. Like that's not the photo that's going up. That's just like a photo I took today. But there's like some glitch happening. So I have no idea. So at 10 o'clock, we'll just see if it goes live. And if not, I have like a backup draft that's prepared. Okay. Focus. Focus. So I'm packing my bag as much as I can. I'm continuing to drink my matcha. It gets better as it sits a little bit because then I feel like the flavors can marinate a little more. So I love it, but you can only drink it so slow because you have ice. Okay, I'm going to finish packing up my bag. So all I have to do is put my laptop in my bag as soon as it finished uploading. I'm back home now. It's like 4.30, I think. Yep. And I got a root beer on my way out of the office. I love root beer. I think it's probably... That and Pepsi are my favorites. So I don't really know. Like, any given day, one's over the other. But today, I have been able to listen to a good chunk of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. So I can't tell. Can't like. It doesn't tell me the percent... I'm way through, but I'm in the middle of chapter 12. I'm like this far through. I'm roughly on like page 250 or something, and there's about 650 pages. So I'm about a third of the way through the book. That's pretty good. I do want to at least get to the 50% mark tonight. That's what this is. I've only been able to listen to it at 2.5. 
two five speed but when I sit down and read alongside I can do it at three speed so like that's pretty good um, and I think that's kind of what I want to do but I also want to do a bit of my reading journal tonight so I don't have any of my March reading spreads done and I would like to I kind of said in my last weekly vlog that I thought I wanted to do it on Wednesday and maybe I still do but I'm just kind of in a crafty mood, so we'll see. I'm going to camp out in my room. I'm just, like, not in the mood to sit on the couch. I want to be, like, in my bed and, like, with my comforter and everything. And I'm just going to work on my reading journal there and then continue to listen to this. I also want to watch some booktube. There's some fun videos out, so I think I'll just, like, take a break right now from listening to this and go watch some of those videos and then circle back to this and at least reach the 50% mark. Okay, it is currently 6.30. I am dead to the world. I think I said it in here, how I like I stayed up stupid late to finish the book and then now I'm just tired and so I kind of took a on and off again nap for like an hour and then I slowly got up and then I was like, I have no food. Well, nothing that I wanted to make. So I'm making something super simple. I'm just making bean and cheese little like taco burrito things. So I'm heating up beans now to like make refried beans. I'm just like so tired. And so I haven't read any more of the Harry Potter book. Like I was like listening to it and then I was like, no, I'm so tired. So I took that nap. I'm back up, ready to do some stuff. I have no idea what. Maybe it's just eat and go back to bed. But I definitely need that. Like, my eyes, like, they're burning. <laughs> so I made a very big TBR. Like, are we surprised? Not really. But guys, tell me why the day I post the video. Actually, I posted it today. So I think it was yesterday. Um, I had watched Katie Colson's recent video. I only recently subscribed to her, so, like, I'm not really sure of her content and, like, her tastes and everything, but she read Magnolia Parks for the first time and was giving her, like, reactions. Every time I watch someone, like, read that book, I immediately want to go back into the series, and then I never do. That is definitely one that's, like, finishing series I'm in the middle of. That would be a good one. But I don't know if I'm really committed to that. So either way, I got the urge to add Daisy Hates to my March TBR. Yeah. Why? Like, why did I do that to myself when I already have an obnoxious TBR? I have no idea. I'm going to eat this very girl dinner and then figure out kind of a game plan for the rest of the evening. Honestly, it may just be riding in bed. I have no idea. Because it'd be nice to actually have like a good night's sleep. But. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. It's almost 8 o'clock. I'm about to head out the door. But guys, I slept in this and I'm wearing it to work. I am so cozy. This has become probably my favorite sweatshirt. I want like all of them. I think it's just like I need to look on, where did I get it, Abercrombie? I need to look on their site and see if they have other sweatshirts and hoodies that like fit this vibe that isn't just NFL because I don't really need like a bunch of random NFL hoodies and sweatshirts, but I just love the fit of this. Anyways, it's just one of those days. I knocked out last night. I got to this point I only have this much left in this book which is huge I had probably an hour left or so of reading but I was like okay it's 10 o'clock and I'm exhausted and the night before I'd like stayed up stupid late so I was so tired by 10 o'clock I went to bed and I slept hard until about 6 15 or so and then I started to like just consistently wake up I didn't wake up ready to tackle the world but I was at least starting to open my eyes and then by like 6:45, 7 o'clock I was like okay no like just get up so I did but I'm just feeling very cozy and stuff I sat here and did my makeup it's my new favorite hobby like I don't think I'll ever be able to switch back to doing my makeup in the bathroom I made an iced coffee it's that Starbucks iced coffee like a dark roast and then 
uh, maple brown sugar creamer. So my goal for the day, definitely finish this. I have to go to work today. I'm going to listen to this um, probably throughout the day if I can. It's going to be a, I think a pretty packed work day. It could end earlier if I like am focused with everything that I do. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm more focused. Yesterday, I just had a hard time focusing and being super productive because I was so tired. So I'm looking forward to like just entering today ready to go. Okay, so that's kind of my reading update. I want to finish this first, um, mainly because I only have that much left, and then I hopefully, I could finish this today and watch the movie tonight. That could be pretty cool, and if so, then I doubt I would start another book today, but maybe I will. I'm caught between starting Colty or Daisy Hates. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. That's going to be like my non-video book, but then obviously I have to continue on with this. I'll have the last book in the series, book seven, which is crazy to me, but that's just where I'm at. I didn't want to start a non-video book yesterday, so I just wanted to get through book six, which, hello. I mean, I got through a good chunk of that, so that's just where I'm at today. I'm going to head to the office. I'll see you guys when I get home. Okay, just got back home. It's about 3.30 or so. I honestly had a productive day at work as far as my to-do list and what I was able to accomplish. I feel good about it. I was definitely tired throughout the day, so I'm hoping tonight having a good night's sleep as well will help me. I mean, I'm off work tomorrow, so I don't have to wake up early, so I don't really need to set an alarm, which will be nice. But overall, productive day at work. I'm going to sit in bed and finish. Harry Potter. I honestly, I just wanted to sit and read it. I realized I didn't want to listen to it and finish the book that way while I was at work. So I just held off and just like listened to some music or just sat there in silence and worked. Yeah. So now that I'm home, I just want to get in bed and finish Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And then tonight I can watch the movie, which will be just kind of like cozy. And I'll be one step closer to finishing part two of Harry Potter read and watch series, which will just make me feel good. I'm feeling really good about this week because I have three videos going up, which just like always feels good. Um, I'm like looking through. So my reading wrap up went up yesterday and then my finishing series video goes up tomorrow. And then my vlog, uh, like my weekly vlog goes up on Friday. So I feel good and the sponsor like you know check checkbox on the video so I just I just feel good I just feel good about that and I'm in a good place with it so I'm just going to hang out for the rest of the evening I may talk with you but I may just dedicate time to chilling in bed and then when I have to film just film for the read and watch video and not this one as much but then tomorrow we can spend all day together um, doing I don't know what I have to kind of figure that out I don't know if I just want to rot and read all day. I don't know what the weather's supposed to be like. I may have to go to the library, so we'll just see what tomorrow brings, but for tonight, I'm tired and I just want to chill. Good morning, happy Wednesday. It's about 8 o'clock or so. I woke up, well for the first time, around like 6.15 on my own, and I was like, you don't have to do this. Like, I know you just naturally woke up, but you don't have to get up right now. So I chose to sleep for another hour, and then I very slowly got up and out of bed, brushed my teeth, threw on a different, like, hoodie-legging combo, because I do want to head out to a coffee shop today. Let's determine that real quick, because if I have stars and gift card money still on my Starbucks app, then I don't want to go to a different coffee shop to have to spend money. And if I don't, then I'll just go to the other coffee shop because then at that point, if I'm spending money, I might as well go to the other one. Okay, but I still have like 550 stars and still like over $7 from the gift card. So I still have a few drinks left I can get there where I don't have to spend money. So I'm going to take advantage of that. But I just like to go to coffee shops on my days off because it just like gets me out of the house. I can work on stuff at my own leisure. I don't know, just kind of a nice thing. But I was so tired last night around like 10 10 30 and I just didn't go to bed just didn't go to bed and I thought for the longest time like for the first couple hours I'm like are you getting a side effect of you know actually drinking an energy drink because I like chugged an Alani new around like 8 p.m only because I was craving like carbonate carbonated drink like a carbonation. I was craving carbonation, but I don't really have soda ever in my house. So 
Um, I had the Alani new and I chugged it. <laughs> but I wasn't like awake and like ready to tackle the world. I was still tired. Like my eyes were exhausted. But I was tired enough I couldn't read. But I was just choosing not to go to sleep. So I just caught up on a lot of YouTube videos because I was not able to watch Harry Potter last night. I kind of forgot that the KU K State like men's basketball game was on last night. And that's like a rival game. It was senior night for KU. So that was on at six. So it didn't end until about eight. And I was like, I don't want to start a movie right now. So then from that point on, just chilled out and watched YouTube. So that was, I mean, it was chill. I liked it. But I did not start a new book last night. So that's kind of my reading update. Like I finished Harry Potter. Didn't watch the movie. I watched that, I think, tonight. And then I was caught between these two books. I was like, do I want to continue on with Magnolia Parks? And, like, the second book is my next book I need to read, so Daisy Hates. Or did I want to start Colty? This is on my TBR. Like, I talked with you guys about it. This is one that was like, ask me why I'm adding this to my TBR. Well, it was Katie Colson's video of her reading Magnolia Parks that, you know, maybe do that but I like last night I just decided to ask um this like current reads patreon chat that I made and I was like okay guys like I'm caught between these two books help and I only had like a couple people like instantly respond but that's all I needed like I was like what's the first response I'm gonna get pretty much I'm easily convinced and initially people were saying Daisy hates so I was like okay twist my arm I'll do it so this is going to be my next non-video book because I'm also going to be continuing on with Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, the final book in that series for that finishing series video. I'm very excited to do that, but I don't plan, I don't plan, I was going to say I don't want and I don't plan both to um, start that book until I finish the movie. So if I'm able to start tonight, great. If not, I'll start the book seven of Harry Potter tomorrow and I'll just really focus on this one today. I want to get through at least 50% of Daisy Hates. That's more because, yes, I want to finish the book, but also it allows me to have goals and I know that I can do it if I'm not just like doom scrolling on my phone. So sometimes like that's why I put like get to a certain percentage of a book because it makes me put it on my phone and just read. I need to go through my fin financial spreadsheet. I didn't do it this past weekend. I think I... I kind of went through stuff, but not really, so I need to do that. And then I want to update my Notion. I do want to return a library book. It is due today, so I want to go ahead and return it. I don't think there's anything I need to go into the library for, so they do have, like, the outside return library thing that I can do, so I think I need to do that. I want to work on my March reading journal, and then um, I actually leave on Sunday for a work trip, so I kind of just want to make a list to start that because I can. Um, I don't really plan to pack until like Saturday, but I want to at least be semi-prepared and start thinking about anything. That way, if I need to go to the store on Friday when I have off, then I can do that. So it's kind of just for today, kind of a chill day, kind of a fun day in the sense of the to-do list to me is like fun stuff, but well, mine is this financial spreadsheet. That's not really fun. I'm going to go ahead and get ready. And I will see you guys when we're probably headed to the coffee shop. Okay, my bag is packed. Let's go see what we can actually accomplish today. Okay, I'm back and I'm going to catch you guys up on what I've done this morning, but I wanted to go ahead and make a matcha first and I figured I would actually show you guys how I make it and like what I use. So, let's do it. The matcha I use is jade leaf and it's organic Japanese matcha. I'm pretty sure you can get it on Amazon. So each of these sticks are what they call like a matcha shot. So I always do two shots of matcha because I really like the matcha e flavor. So this will be my first time getting to use the little jar that I said would be perfect to mix this stuff in. So I just heated it up for about 20 seconds. I don't measure this, but it's just like a little bit. You don't want a ton of water. These I don't. I like to just have the bare minimum to help me mix the matcha. 
So I've got two of those, and then I don't have a whisk thing, like one of those matcha whisks, but I have a frother. Honestly, it gets the job done. Oh! You guys, I just broke my frother! Well, I don't think I actually broke it. I think I can fix this, but... Okay, I semi-fixed that little frother thing, but... I mix this up essentially until I think the powder clumps are gone. I'm going to be using this glass cup today. I just got it from Target. It's like perfect because obviously it's green so it just makes the matcha look so much more matcha-y. I'm going to put three cubes in here. Okay, and then I'm going to put milk in probably about three-fourths of the way. So then I'm going to make this kind of creamer concoction situation. So I'm going to use vanilla syrup. And then the silk oat cream, or that's the maple brown sugar, and then a little bit of the heavy whipping cream, and that will just kind of help make it foamy. So I'm just gonna mix it up in like a little glass. I have no idea. I honestly just wing it. <laughs> About that much? I have no idea. A little bit of the heavy cream to kind of thicken it up, and then a little bit of the vanilla, kind of like two pumps, I would assume. Then we're gonna see if this frother situation works. Okay. I think it's working. Good enough for me. Okay. Then I put in the creamer first. Perfect. And then the matcha. Really testing my luck here. Quite literally filled it to the top. This is gonna be terrifying to stir. It's perfect. I can taste the matcha and I can taste the maple brown sugar. Honestly, one of the best ones I've made. Okay. And then I'm gonna drink a little bit of this. Okay. And now I can actually put on the lid. Perfect. Okay, it's about 12.15, so I'm back. I've made my matcha. I changed into my comfort hoodie. Is it just me, or does anyone else, like, have to kind of change when they get home from being, like, outside? I'm like, well, the hoodie I wore walking around outside smells like the outdoors, so I need to change. And then I kind of just wanted my comfort hoodie, and this is by far my comfort hoodie. This is really good. Okay, so Starbucks was really successful. I did my financial spreadsheet. I updated all my Notion stuff, so my 2024 goals page, my 2024 reads, the like physical TBR site as well. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. Last night, I did spend some time on Notion planning out the videos I wanted to do this month and like what it was going to take to do that so that made me feel pretty productive it's just nice like I can think of okay I want to film the library blindly choosing my TBR video but what is it going to take to actually film that like what books are part of that like how many pages are they do I have the audio book like what is it going to take especially with traveling next week I just want to plan what videos I'm supposed to be filming when and like figure that out so that's what I did last night, which was nice. So this morning, it was good to update all the other Notion pages. And then I worked on my reading. Oh, ow. <laughs> I hit my hand on the table. But I worked on my reading journal. So I sketched out everything I want to do for my March spreads, which makes me very happy. I did, like, the hard part at this point. And then after that, I came back here real quick. But then I headed off to the library. I only went to return one book. I did it outside. Didn't even go into the library. Unfortunately, it was that, like, Sanctuary of Shadows or something like that. I just didn't have time to read it. It was technically on my TBR for this month. But couldn't finish it by today and then it was you know people needed it after me like I couldn't renew it so that's okay I think I'll just read it later there's a lot of other books that I want to be reading this month so I'm good with that and after that I went to Michael's so I took a couple small clips here but really I figured I was just going to show you a haul so I went because I wanted to get some stuff for my March spread and I did know of other spreads I wanted to be doing so I still need to do my evergreen spread my five star read from January and then I wanted to do kind of a page dedicated to my two five star reads in 
February, which were powerless and love theoretically. So I wanted to kind of get stuff for that. And I mean, when I saw my total, I was like, well, I, girl, how'd you do that? But I guess keep in mind, <laughs> so I paid $34 for everything I'm going to show you. But I did save $17.63. So, I mean, I saved a good chunk. I was just still like, what? Excuse you? Like, what happened? <laughs> um, but I guess that's what happens when you bought more than you planned. So, first up is I got a whole thing of different washi tape. So, they had not a ton of options. I'd like to look to Etsy more, but I just kind of needed them today I'm in the mood to be doing this today so I want to look for Etsy stuff moving forward because I feel like Etsy always has a ton of different washi tape themes and not just like plain colored but patterns and stuff so I just got a plain one that has you know solid colors of the rainbow and I feel like that'll be perfect for beyond this month same thing with this so it's just a bunch of cardstock paper but small ones and look at all the colors I'm going to be using it beyond this month as well. So that's why I was like, okay, just go ahead and get this. And then I got three large pieces. So I got this for the evergreen spread. I got these two for powerless and love theoretically. So I just want to use those when I do those spreads. And then for my March spreads, um, these markers were needed. I didn't have these ones. So this is these, <laughs> these are the Tombow, Tombow ones. And I have various ones, like my mom has honestly been the one that's gifted me them. I don't know if I've bought any of them, so thank you to mom. Um, but I didn't have these colors that would be perfect for this month's spread, so I got these. So, I mean, yeah, it's a lot. It was $35 pretty much, but I think it'll be good because I'll be using this more than just like for this month. Same with these. And then those other spreads are for other things. And obviously I'll be able to use these beyond just the March spread as well. So I feel good. I was just like, oh, well, that was unexpected. <laughs> um, I think that, oh, and then I went to Target and I just picked up a couple things. I got some more rice, like minute cup things, and then some more milk. I couldn't really go grocery grocery shopping because I leave Sunday and I don't really know what I need. So there's that. <laughs> so I just like got a couple things. I am going to put on some YouTube while I do my reading journal and just hang out. I really want to get going on Daisy Hates, but I want to like sit and read it. I don't want to just listen to the audiobook, at least to start out. Um, maybe if I get into a groove with it, then I could listen to the audiobook while like doing something like a reading journal, but I haven't started it yet, and I feel like it's best to start a book physically if you can. So I'm going to watch some booktube videos. So many people have been putting out videos today, loving it, and then I'm going to work on my reading journal. I know you've had a really bad day. But I'm right here, it's gone. Okay, I need to, guys, that's better. Okay, it's only 2.30, but because the weather went from bright blue skies to gloomy, kind of maybe raining, I feel like it's so much later than it is. But I am done, I think, with my March journal spreads, my reading journal spreads. So, I'm sorry, she's so cute. So this is like my cover page, this is my page tracker, and then this is kind of my main like stats and stuff page. So we have like my reading log at the top and then the bottom has like what the stats will be at the end along with my TBR. I really like this because I just took a bunch of ideas of what I was liking for different potential themes and then I just threw them together. That's kind of what I did for my February as well. Like 
I was seeing different spread ideas where it's just the backdrop of the hearts like on a string and then I saw one where it's just this letter thing and then well they don't really have like stuff like this but as far as like cover page and themes I just like combined it combined it combined it combined wow combined moving on <laughs> a bunch of ideas and so one idea that I loved that I saw was like this sunset cloud themed and it had a bunch of these colors but then I saw a bow themed and I was like I love that bow and so then I just took the sunset e colors and transformed into kind of a bow themed so I love her she's fun and now I'm going to <laughs> clean up the mess I've made and take a breather and then I'll probably start to read Okay, I really need to like vacuum my couch, but I don't know how to like safely do that. I don't know, that's a me problem. But I was just like looking and I'm like, hmm, this needs vacuumed. Anyways, hello, hi, it is currently 8.10, so I rotted on the couch for a little bit. And then I took a shower because I was just like so tired I couldn't read and I wanted to like do the Harry Potter stuff tonight, so... I was like, a shower, because you need to shower and wash your hair anyways. And so then I came out, and I just finished watching Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Wow. That was an experience. Obviously, I'm filming that for the Harry Potter Read and Watch series part two video. So I'm not going to really touch on it here. But I just finished watching that, and I just finished filming that like post-movie clip for that video. Um, I'm having Olivia from Olivia Reads a Latte's, like, weekly vlog on in the background right now. I had watched an hour or so of it earlier, and then I'm just continuing on with it. I'm definitely tired. <sighs> kind of sucks I haven't been able to start Daisy Hates yet, um, but I think I'll probably just read a couple chapters tonight, like, when I'm going to bed. I need to figure out some food right now, so I'm definitely hungry and needing, like, some sort of a substance so there's that but I just wanted to at least hop on and update you guys let you know how the rest of my day went I'm back in the office tomorrow so I do want to have like a good night's sleep I actually try to go to bed at like 10 or something not just stay up for no reason ridiculous okay that's all I got. It's raining. It's been raining all afternoon, so I can hear it raining now, and it's honestly quite cozy. I will say moments of the movie, I was spooked. Like, it was pitch black, right? And then I'm watching this movie, and I'm, like, by myself hearing any sort of noise, and I'm like, I'm on edge. I'm on edge. <laughs> but, okay, I'm going to chill out the rest of the evening, hopefully get to bed at a good time, and I will see you tomorrow morning. Good morning, happy. Every day, every day. Thursday? Oh my gosh. Like you can see that. It's Thursday. Hello, hi. It's currently 6.24. I woke up on my own this morning around 6, so that felt really nice. I knocked out like around 10 o'clock. I got tired and I said, TV off, close your eyes. And I did. And I slept. So with that... I don't even have the book. Um, it's, I think it's on my table, but I did not start Daisy Hates last night. I was just so tired, so that's okay. I'm going to listen to one of Peter Mon's videos while I get ready. I made a cup of coffee. I need to get into the office as early as I can. So I have my clothes laid out here. I'm going to just get ready for the day. And I'm gonna be honest, I'll probably just check in with you guys when I get home. And we'll just go from there because at this point, you guys don't need to see me get ready because I have no update to give you guys. So it would just be a time lapse of me doing makeup, which can be, you know, a vibe. But I feel like if I play my cards right, we'll have another get ready in this video where I can give you a reading update. So for now, I'm just going to get ready on my own and I will see you guys when I get home from work. Okay. Hi. Hello. It is 4.30. I just got home. I changed into like sweatpants and just like a tank just to get out of what I wore to work today. But today was such a productive day. Honestly, it flew by. I got into the office by like 7.15, I want to say. And I was just on top of it. I left about 4 o'clock or so. 
and it was just good. I don't know how to explain it other than that. It was very busy. Like I blinked and it was like noon, 12.30, something like that. And I was like, wow, like just so much was coming up and like talking with different people that are stopping by my office that I did not plan on today. So I was like, oh, well, hello, hi, let's chat. So it was just a good day overall though with everything that I was able to accomplish. So normally I would have tomorrow off of work. Tomorrow would be my Sunday, if you will, but I actually have to cover for someone on a contract in the afternoon. So I'm gonna be working tomorrow afternoon. I do not know if I want to head into the office or not. I did need to work with something that I had asked my coworker if he was available tomorrow. So I may pop in just for like an hour to work with them on the thing that I need to. So we'll see, cause I think I would like to be home for most of the day and just kind of do my own thing do a little bit of work that I have to in the afternoon, work on that thing with them. But then I also like desperately need to do laundry. I need to make sure I'm caught up because I have to pack pretty much on Saturday because I'll have to fly out Sunday. I need to buy my flight tomorrow. <laughs> so um, things like that, that's just like, I need to actually be home in some way to do that. So I don't really know what tomorrow's gonna look like yet, but I'm excited to just hang out in bed for the rest of today. I hope to do some reading. I really want to start this today. I was going to listen to it at work, but I just wasn't in the mood. And like I said, so much stuff was coming up that I was talking with so many different people that I didn't plan on. So I was never in the mood to just kind of sit and focus on my work with the audiobook. So maybe that will happen tomorrow. I have no idea. But I do want to start this. And then, guys, it's embarrassing. I want to read this book. I really do. I just haven't really had the motivation to be reading, if you will, because I've just been so tired. And then like my brain has been tired from work stuff that I like haven't had the energy, the mental energy to be reading a book. And then I obviously had to watch this movie. So that's what I was doing last night. And I feel like there was something else. Oh, like basketball stuff. I'm like, March Madness is happening, guys. It's starting. The tournament's starting. <sighs> We have all like the conference tournaments heading into actual March Madness tournament. So I'm just like basketball, basketball, basketball. It's a lot. It's hard to keep up with. So there's that. It's my little post work update. I'll keep you updated if I do anything worth your while today. But other than that, I hope to maybe just read. Like watch some YouTube, read, chill, figure out what I need to be doing tomorrow. Good morning, happy Friday. Oh my gosh. Honestly, it's been a very like productive week in the work department for sure. And then I actually have read quite a bit over the last like seven days. So pretty good balance overall. I know the last couple days I haven't read a ton, but I do have a reading update for you guys. But I want to go ahead and get ready for the day. So I am needing to work some today, especially the afternoon. I head into my office around like 11.15 or so for a couple hours. But I want to head over to um, Starbucks or something. I have to check my app again to see if I have money there. But I want to go somewhere and work this morning on kind of like my own stuff, do some reading, whatever, and then head to my office afterwards. So I want to go ahead and put a little bit of makeup on. Okay, I think I still have my washer going on in the background, so sorry if you can hear that. But the few reading updates that I have. So I was able to start uh, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows last night, and then I was also able to start... Daisy hates. So I feel like we just thought this would never happen and I agree. I didn't read a ton of either of them but it was nice to get started on them both. So obviously I'm reading Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows for the Read and Watch series video and then I just got the urge to start Daisy Hates because that's what mood readers do. Um, I think I only got about 100 pages into both of them. So I have them both sitting here. One second. So I only got to chapter 7, page 111 in Harry Potter. How many pages are there? 759. Oh my gosh, that's like book 5. No, book 5 had 870. Um, I feel a loose hair. 
God, I hate that feeling. Um, I guess this is probably similar to the last book, like book six, maybe. I don't know, but I'm only then about... No, wait, I can't do math. This, this is embarrassing. Okay, so I'm only about 15% of the way through the book. I don't know, I do want to get a good chunk of this done today. My goal is to actually finish this tomorrow. Yeah, don't ask me how I'm supposed to do that, but I'd like to finish this tomorrow. And then, it's been such an interesting experience, honestly, doing this whole thing with the Harry Potter stuff specifically. I'm interested to see how I, like, do it with the, like, other books and stuff that I'm gonna want to do for this series. But Harry Potter just has such a special place in my heart as, like, a childhood thing. Um, all the universal trips I've been on. Like, it's just different, so I feel like I've just really cherished doing the Read and Watch series videos for this one. So I'm kind of interested, I guess, to just see, like, do I have the same, like, a newfound appreciation for books and movies um, as I read them, or, you know, and watch them, or is Harry Potter always just going to be that special? Like, I feel like Harry Potter is just always going to be that special, and we'll, we'll see how it goes, but it was just kind of interesting, I guess, reading... Um, specifically these last three books, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I really love this, and like all the other characters, this is hard, I mean it's hard, it's gonna be a little sad when it's over, because I'm sure at some point in the future I will want to reread the books, but I mean it's gonna be a long time before I want to do that, obviously I'm gonna want to rewatch the movies as like different comfort points, <laughs> probably sooner than rereading the books but and then I read 77 76 pages of Daisy Hate so again not a lot I don't know how many pages so I'm about 18% of the way through Daisy Hates so like I said I didn't read a ton last night but enough to kind of just at least get me going on these books and it's been an interesting experience so far with Daisy Hates' side. It's interesting because you do get the other characters obviously thrown in because they're all in the same world. I mean, I already have that whole Magnolia and BJ, I don't know, like attraction, you know, infatuation sort of thing. So the few times, very few, that like BJ's been in the room or BJ and my Magnolia have like had a moment <sighs> like I already feel myself like the butterflies come I'm already giddy I'm already like smiling like a freaking idiot so it's gonna be interesting to me to see how I guess I progress with the story because so far I mean I'm not necessarily into anything um not in a bad way I don't like dislike it but it's just I already have that connection with Magnolia and BJ. And I don't obviously have that same type of connections with Christian, Daisy, and Julian. So I, I don't know. I'm nervous. I know a lot of people talk about Julian. So I'm kind of, I'm curious I guess how that's going to progress based on what we've already read about in um, this book. I mean, I get only 76 pages in, but Christian, man, bro, you want to talk about him? Or just, you're just going to leave that out there, like, we don't want to talk about it? Because <laughs> that's just a messy situation. <laughs> I feel like it's just so far, it's like, oh, yep, another group of messy people. Messy people. Um, but not in a bad way, but it's just like, okay, that's what we're, we've got. So that's what I'm experiencing from Daisy. I mean, I like her at this point. Christian, I mean, that dude, man. I don't dislike him. It's just like, Christian, homie. He's going through it, huh? And then Julian. So I haven't had too many POVs of Julian yet, but... I guess he intrigues me and that's kind of the whole thing that's the type of guy in the story he intrigues me 
and I could see where I'm probably going to end up having a stupid crush on Julian Hates. So there's that. <laughs> Do you guys want to hear the kicker? You're going to die. You're going to be like, JC, literally, what are you thinking? And I know. <laughs> but so today is Friday. Oh, God. Literally, how am I supposed to do this? Um, so today's Friday. And I want to also finish this by the end of Saturday. Yeah. I want to start a reading vlog on Sunday. <laughs> so I want these two books finished by then. Yep. I think I need to go to Sephora today or tomorrow because I'm pretty much out of the Anastasia Beverly Hills loose setting powder. But you guys, I got this like last February. I had this for a year. It's the mini version. Had it for a year. And I used it like relatively consistently. I swapped between this and the Maybelline Fit Me. Just like had no rhyme or reason. I would just sometimes use one over the other. So I had that for over a year, which just blows my mind. Okay, I am going to finish getting ready. I changed into my shirt stuff before I did my makeup, but I need to put on not sweatpants. And then I will talk with you when I am heading out the door. Okay, I just finished getting ready. I put my hair back in a claw clip simply to get my hair out of my face while I'm walking. I am going to go to Starbucks. I still have gift card money and stars there, so I checked on that, which is good because I didn't want to spend money at a coffee shop today when I'm going to a coffee shop with my friend tomorrow morning. So trying to at least be a little bit financially smart. So I have my bag packed with a bunch of random things that I may or may not do. So I think that is it. Let's head out. Okay, I just finished doing an update for my like, finishing series video, but I figured it's the weekly vlog. You get the behind the scenes, right? So I'm currently 52% of the way through this book, and I have the goal of finishing it tomorrow. So I think I'm on a good pace. Like I honestly have the opportunity to finish this today if I wanted, but we'll see if I actually get there. I think I have probably about four hours left of listening, reading this. And I'm just sitting here reading while I have basketball on in the background. So it's just very nice. Like, I'm just sitting here and, like, just having that on, like, very low volume. I don't know. It's fun. So it's about 4.15. Like I said, watching basketball. Um, so much on with all the tournaments happening, like, all the conference tournaments. I would like to finish this tonight if I could. Like, that would be amazing because it gives me a good shot at finishing Daisy Hates tomorrow but we'll see we'll see at this point i'm thinking about what i want to do for dinner but i don't know i technically have like random odds and ends here and it's probably the right way to go because i thought about ordering food i was like girl we had to like spend 25 30 dollars for like a mediocre delivery meal i did have chipotle delivered the other night chef's kiss but it was quite expensive. Like I feel like I ended up spending like eight more dollars after like tips and um, fees. Like I have Uber One, so I don't have delivery fee, but it's just like all the other fees that are thrown in there that I'm like, oh my gosh. So that was kind of annoying. But I don't want to do that. I'd rather just eat my random stuff here because I know I'm going to be eating out a lot like, over the next week because of travel, which, yes, like, it's work travel, so it's, like, I get, what, like, per diem or whatever, but, like, it's still eating, at, you know, it's just, like, a mental thing, so I'm gonna figure out what I want for dinner, like, what odds and ends I have here, because I didn't really eat a big lunch, I just had random items, so I think I'm definitely gonna want to eat, like, a meal of some sort in, like, an hour, 
that's my update. I'm going to continue watching basketball. I'm going to continue reading this. And I'll check in with you guys later. Let's turn on an extra light. Not that this really helps my hair like I just keep moving this clip as I've moved around so it's a nightmare I don't know if you can hear it in the background but I have water boiling and it's making noises I'm gonna have mac and cheese for dinner because that's the easiest thing that actually sounds delicious so unicorn mac and cheese my girl dinner it's currently 8 15 I finished Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows I feel so good. I feel so good. So I don't know exactly what I was thinking, guys, because <laughs> I was like, I want to finish Harry Potter by Saturday. So essentially in my head, I was like, I need to finish it by Saturday, like early evening so that I can watch the movie. Saturday evening and then like be done with that because I am on a plane Sunday and I wanted to have that video done so I could edit it and have it uploaded maybe Wednesday or something of next week. Tell me why like I knew there were two movies. I've talked about how there's two movies like in the read and watch series video. Failed to think about the fact that I have to watch two movies. Yeah so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean I could still watch both of them tomorrow, but that's going to be like a huge chunk of my day. Well, I'm sorry the lighting is just like crazy. Um, because I have to do a lot tomorrow, but I am getting a very early start to the day. I'll be home though by 10. And then I have to do like a bunch of packing and laundry and just picking up and stuff. But theoretically, it doesn't take that long to do. So I could just be efficient and then end up watching both movies tomorrow. We'll see if that happens, but... I was like, what, girl? It, like, just hit me where I was just like, you finishing the book tomorrow wasn't going to help you if you have both movies to also watch. So, I don't know. But I feel good about at least having that done. The tiredness is hitting me. The tiredness is hitting me. So, we'll see. Um... I'm going to eat. I may shower and stuff tonight or I'll just wait till I get home tomorrow from coffee and stuff. But I'd really like to shower tonight. What is this like? I don't know how to describe it, but it's just like I'm hearing noises. Okay, anyways, I'm going to go eat my lovely dinner and I will see you guys tomorrow morning for the last day of the weekly vlog. Good morning, happy Saturday. Oh my gosh. It's 6.45. Um, my friend is on her way to come get me and we're just gonna have like a little coffee date this morning before she heads to work. And then I do have work stuff to do today, but it's gonna be a heavily focused like packing and reading day. So I do leave tomorrow and I said in my last night's clip, like, well, maybe if I pack early enough, I could watch both movies of Harry Potter. I don't know if I want to do that. Like, I may watch one of the movies this evening. Like, I think that would be fine. But I don't want to push myself to watch both movies tonight just to finish that video today so I can edit it. Because the odds of me having the time on a work trip to edit that video by Tuesday night so it can be uploaded on Wednesday, the odds are not in my favor. So I'd rather just, like watch one movie tonight if I have the time and when I get back from the trip I will watch the second movie and then that video will be wrapped up so um, I think instead of posting it this Wednesday I'll post it next Wednesday or next Friday keep that in mind okay I think I'm gonna make an announcement on my channel and like my patreon and anywhere else wow I like really scratched myself I have no idea why okay anyways um I want to make an announcement about upcoming videos so I have the library TBR video that I'm filming this upcoming week I have the read and watch series part two of Harry Potter then this weekly vlog but I think I'm not going to film a weekly vlog this upcoming week because I'm going to be on a work trip from Sunday to Thursday and if I'm already filming a 
library TBR video, then I feel like it'd be really hard to film both those videos when I'm already like doing other stuff. You know what I mean? So I think I'm gonna make an announcement today just for like, hey, upcoming videos, you know, to look out for and stuff. So there is that, but I just got ready. I threw on, this is one of my favorite sweatshirts because it's just so fun. But on the back, it literally says, mom, come pick me up. Like that's iconic. So then I just have on some shorts and this. I bought these sunglasses for $6 on Amazon, $6. And honestly, they just make me feel really cool. So we have that going for me. <laughs> I'm just blabbering. Just I like I woke up rested. I had the weirdest dreams. We won't go into it, but I had like the weirdest dreams. I'm kind of surprised that I'm waking up this like energized, but we'll take it. I started a load of a laundry. It's my like whites, so it's like a two and a half hour process so I figured doing it first thing in the morning will be perfect because then I can do the well let's just say the next load whenever I get back home because I don't know if I'll technically have two more loads I need to do we'll see but I'm going to make sure my bag is packed film a clip for the read and watch series video and then probably she'll be here because it takes me a while to do everything especially filming videos because it's a three and a half minute clip for no reason. I just love talking. Oh, I love talking. Okay, I will see you guys. I'll probably talk with you next whenever I get back home, but I'll try to get in some clips today of the coffee shop stuff. <laughs> got back home it is currently about 10 15 so the breakfast coffee shop date was so cute so perfect it was just nice to see her before I head off for the week just girls being girls girls catching up girls taking cute coffee shop pictures didn't miss much but the food was good the drink was good it was like a lucky charm strawberry vanilla latte so good it was so good and now I need to pack so I did a little bit before she got here and I just when I got home brought back up the suitcase so I started putting some clothes and stuff I need to swap out the laundry right now I think the washer load of all the whites is done so now I need to put in like whatever load has the rest of the crap I need so I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'll come back and we'll talk okay so I just switched out that laundry if you can hear it in the background sorry but I need to essentially pack everything that I can I'd rather just kind of get it out of the way um, and then I'll have to pack a couple random things as the laundry and stuff gets done and then obviously in the morning I'll have to pack <laughs> the rest of kind of toiletry items so I figured I'd just like leave that out I'm gonna try to pack everything into like one little zipper bag and then I just have to throw that in in the morning so let's see what I can do I'm gonna have basketball on all day currently watching um, a couple women's games but then KU men's basketball plays in a few hours so I'm gonna want to watch that and that's about it I mean I do have a goal of finishing Daisy Hates today would love that if I can but I don't think I want to push myself to do that it may be a book that I just like put off until the end of next week if I don't read any more of it today we'll just see but for now I'm gonna get to packing and see what I can do <laughs> Move you guys down. Hello. It's been a couple hours. Well, when did I get home? Like 10 15, and that's when we really talked. It's now 12 40. You can probably hear the laundry in the background. It's still going strong. I I have like the last load I really need and planned on in the dryer, but then I threw in a quick load after that for the washer, like just like some leggings and stuff. If I really want to take them, I can. I got a package okay so I ordered 
um, some sweats and stuff from Amazon really because I wanted them for travel but I just don't know if I want to keep them so I figured I'll just buy them and then I'll return them if I realize like I don't really like wearing them so first up I actually you know we're just gonna keep you on the little stick thing but okay okay so first up is I got these sweats, which they kind of look funky like this, but I swear they're like normal sweatpants. I don't know. Why do they look weird? These are ones that I'm, I don't know if I want to keep, but sweats, they're really comfortable. And then I got, oh my gosh, and then I got this whole white set. So let me hold it up. So I honestly, I got influenced, but the influencer was wearing like a white aloe set and that's not in my price range. So I just got this one on Amazon and I'm going to try it on later, but I'm wearing makeup. I mean, it's honestly barely anything, but I am so paranoid. So um, anyways, these are white sweats. I think if you just wear like nude underwear, you'll be fine. They do feel pretty thick. Um, so just like don't wear black or like bright red polka dot underwear or something and I feel like you'll be fine. So yeah, they feel really good though. And then I got the matching, like it came as a set and I got the matching hoodie. How do I already have my hair on this? Oh, I love this. I love like the neckline of this. This also feels like really good quality. You can see it through like it's relatively thin but it feels good. Does that make sense? I mean, it's white. It's really hard to have opaque white things. This is a size small on both. And then to go with it, what? I got this hat. I think I want to keep this unless I completely, like, I don't know. I feel like this will just be cute to have. So we'll see. But that's kind of what I want to wear for my travel day tomorrow. Terrifying, I know. But picture looks so cute of the other person doing it so I was like well okay sorry I asked a question on my patreon because like I created these like chats so like on patreon you can make posts like just like hey this is a post right and that to me is more like <sighs> kind of bigger reading updates video stuff kind of more announcement e things and then we have chats and for the chats I created like a current reads chat and essentially that allows us to talk about what we're currently reading or just like have book comments and questions if you will. And then I created like a hot girls drinks chat because to me I'm like I love coffee, I love matcha, I love all the cute pretty drinks and I love it when I can like send pictures of those and stuff to people. So I created a chat for that and then I have just found myself wanting to post other things that I was like this just doesn't really fit in these two chats so I posted a main post asking like are there any other chats that you guys want because for me I'm struggling <laughs> so I just like saw someone commented back on that but I am in a good place so far with packing a lot of it's chill I'm gonna have a lot of empty space I feel like I'll just have to randomly fill it with stuff or stuff that I normally wouldn't put in a suitcase like I put in like my carry-on bag or something I'll just end up putting it in there but I feel pretty good so far on where I'm at. I haven't done anything besides like lay here. I've been on social media a lot today. Whoopsies. But I've been um, like posting on Patreon. I've been um, on YouTube. I've been on um, Instagram because I made like a post today from all the pictures I took this morning at the coffee shop. So I've just been like active on there. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe it's only like 12.30 though. I feel like I have like the whole day ahead of me. It's it's crazy. I can't believe this is a five minute clip. Okay, I'm going to continue packing and stuff. If I have a relevant update for you, I will let you know. Okay, it's been another, I don't know, I don't know the last update I have. It's about four o'clock. But I have packed pretty much all that I can at this point. Um, have my airport outfit laid there stuff that I'll need in the morning and then other stuff I'll need in the morning or at least tonight in the bathroom. The problem, I've been really doing laundry. That entire pile, clean. 
needs put away. Ask me if I'm going to do it. I really don't think so. I'm just going to be honest. I'm just not in the mood. So I know future JC is going to be really pissed at current JC. I don't have to tell you. It's not going to happen. I do need to do a couple things as far as just making sure my place is good to go for leaving for several days. So I need to take out the trash, make sure any food I have in my fridge, like that could go bad, I throw it away, things like that. So I'll probably do that. All the good basketball games are over. So I switched and I want to watch Gavin from Gavin Reads It All. He posted a bookish slice of life, which I don't know what they really are. I think this is his second video doing it. I don't know if it's kind of like a weekly vlog. I don't know if it's just bookish things. So you know how you guys get more than just bookish things with these weekly reading vlogs. Hi. Um, I don't know if he just really focuses on book stuff or he just kind of takes you along with his life. So I'm excited to see. It's like an hour vlog. I love hour long vlogs. Like please make them one hour at minimum. That's me. That's the type of person I am. I do want to work on this video because yes, it's like, I'm gonna have time throughout the week for sure. But at the same time, I'm gonna be busy with work. So it's like in the evenings where I really have time to edit, probably not. And I usually edit throughout the week. I had a really good habit of that for the last couple weeks. I didn't really do that here because I think I was so focused on doing the Harry Potter stuff, but that's okay. I think I want to at least get the footage sorted in some way and then work on importing that to Final Cut Pro. So I, that's what I'm gonna do now. Um, can't really record myself doing that because I need you guys. I need the the card that you guys are on. So I will check in with you guys at least one more time before I end the video. I have not read anything. I really just don't think I want to. I may read a little bit tonight. Like that's a big if. I may just focus on watching Harry Potter part one just because I want to. So we'll see. But that's just where I'm at right now. Why was I literally going to start this and be like, good morning, happy Saturday. Like, guys, it's 6 p.m. I don't know. I've just been hanging in bed. I did do a little more reading of Daisy Hates. Oh, my Lanta. I'm on page 161. So I read about another 90 pages, 80 something. I don't know, something like that. <sighs> mm. Mm. My heart is starting to feel things. So that's good because remember first 75 pages or so with my first update, I was like, well, I'm not like disliking it, but I'm not like hooked like I was with like the first three chapters of Magnolia Parks probably. So it's good to actually be feeling, feeling things. I just saw the prettiest sunset. Please editing JC, insert a couple pictures. I beg of you. So that was nice. But I am going to kind of not like get ready for bed in the sense of like go to sleep, but I want to just like wind down. Maybe I'll do a face mask or something. Just relax and try to wind down so I actually go to sleep earlier. I do probably have to wake up at six. I don't know. I really haven't thought it through. That's a post me filming this problem, but I wanted to hop on give a little update because I did a little bit of reading um, and just close out the video. So. I did post a community tab update on what the next couple weeks of videos are going to be and like what comes out when. So next week, essentially starting tomorrow, I'm going to be filming the library TBR video and I'm not going to be filming a weekly vlog, which will be so weird, but I just know with traveling, I would hate to try to film two videos at once when I don't even know how filming the regular library TBR video is going to go. So there's that, but it'll be weird and I will miss you guys terribly. So the next week, expect it to be like a three hour vlog because I'm just going to want to talk with you all the time. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> that concludes this week's weekly reading vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.